Here is a list of frequently asked questions, facts, related to tetanus along with their answers. Number 1. What is tetanus? Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection caused by Clostridium tetany. The bacteria produce toxins that affect the nervous system, leading to painful muscle stiffness and spasms, which can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Number 2. How is tetanus transmitted? Tetanus bacteria are found in soil, dust, and animal feces. It enters the body through wounds or injuries, especially puncture wounds, deep cuts, or burns that are contaminated with the bacteria. Number 3. Which toxin is responsible for tetanus symptoms? The toxin responsible for tetanus symptoms is tetanospasmin, a neurotoxin produced by Clostridium tetany bacteria. Tetanospasmin interferes with the nervous system by blocking the release of inhibitory neurotransmitters, such as GABA and glycine, which control muscle relaxation. This results in uncontrolled muscle contractions and spasms, leading to the characteristic symptoms of tetanus, such as lockjaw, muscle stiffness. Number 4. What are the symptoms of tetanus? Tetanus symptoms typically begin with jaw stiffness, lockjaw, making it difficult to open the mouth or swallow. This is followed by muscle stiffness and painful spasms that spread to the neck, back, abdomen, and limbs. Severe spasms can cause the body to arch backward, opish totonos, and affect breathing muscles, leading to difficulty breathing. Other symptoms include sweating, fever, rapid heart rate, and high blood pressure. Number 5. Can tetanus be spread from person to person? No, tetanus is not contagious. It does not spread from person to person. Number 6. Who is at risk for tetanus? People at risk of tetanus include those with deep or contaminated wounds, such as puncture wounds, burns, or injuries exposed to soil, dust, or animal feces. Individuals who are unvaccinated or haven't had a tetanus booster in over 10 years are particularly are at risk. Newborns can also be at risk of neonatal tetanus if delivered in unsanitary conditions. Additionally, people working in agriculture, construction, or environments with frequent exposure to soil and sharp objects face a higher risk. Number 7. What is the treatment for tetanus? Administration of tetanus immune globulin take, to neutralize the toxin. Antibiotics to kill the bacteria. Wound care to prevent further bacterial growth. Muscle relaxants to control spasms. Number 8. How can tetanus be prevented? Tetanus can be prevented by vaccination with the tetanus toxoid TT, vaccine, often combined with diphtheria and pertussis DTAP, Tdap or TD vaccines. Routine booster shots should be given every 10 years. Also proper wound care, including cleaning and disinfecting wounds should be done immediately. Number 9. What is the tetanus vaccine schedule? Schedule for children, DTAP vaccine at 2, 4, 6, and 15 to 18 months, with a booster at 4 to 6 years. Schedule for adolescents and adults, Tdap vaccine at age 11 to 12, followed by a TD booster every 10 years. Schedule for pregnant women, Tdap vaccine during every pregnancy, preferably between 27 to 36 weeks. Number 10. What is neonatal tetanus? Neonatal tetanus occurs in newborns, often due to unsanitary childbirth practices or cutting the umbilical cord with contaminated tools. It is common in areas with low vaccination rates and poor hygiene practices. Number 11. What should I do if I get a wound and I'm not sure about my tetanus vaccine status? First of all clean the wound thoroughly with soap and water. Seek medical attention promptly. You may need a tetanus booster or tetanus immune globulin if the wound is high risk. Number 12. What are the complications of tetanus? Breathing difficulties. Fractures due to severe spasms. Aspiration pneumonia. Brain damage due to lack of oxygen. Death in severe cases if untreated. Number 13. How long does it take for symptoms to appear after exposure? Symptoms usually appear 3 to 21 days after exposure, with most cases occurring within 8 days. The incubation period depends on the location and severity of the wound. Number 14. Is the tetanus vaccine safe? Yes, the tetanus vaccine is safe. Mild side effects like soreness, redness or swelling at the injection site may occur. Serious side effects are extremely rare. Number 15. Can tetanus recur if I've had it before? Yes, having tetanus does not provide immunity. Vaccination is still required to prevent future infections. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Tiny Predators for more amazing content on microbiology and health. Stay curious, stay safe.